What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am here today to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to round off where we left off, we can intercept um, a fragmented Polish stack, but also draw into battle this Russian army to the south. So this is, is going to be another uh, siege at Zagreb. Um, however, hopefully this will not be... There won't be too many of these left, because you do have some supporting armies, albeit in fairly bad shape. Um, but at least we will still be able to provide some support for our armies inside. And also these armies will be well placed to advance both north to Austria and also east into the Balkans. So without further ado, let us attack. Sadly, we do have one regiment of militia here. Um... Our forces are in good shape in general. I mean, a couple of weaker units, but that's okay. But let us intercept their forces. So you've got to remember that the Russians are Polish, so we need to bear in mind our brand new, brand new aspect of the brand new aspect of the fort. So all of our current breaches will be facing towards the towards the poles because that's where they'll come from. If we even have those breaches. The enemy will nope. try to smash their way in. So. So the Russians will some of the Russians will be coming from over here, which is handy because then this this area is pretty much written off this corner. That that corner is going to be destroyed. So let's focus our efforts on Just put one gun team here. To blast Canis a shot into the breach there. We don't get to deploy defences. So I'm going to probably want to take these guys out here to deploy stakes. For some Pandors, even though they won't be able to get down from here, I'm okay with that because they'll be firing like madmen in all directions. Probably want to put. I probably want to put my guns back here. And my howitzers back here. In order for them to provide fire against. I mean, they might still hit the command HQ, but to attack. Come on, I might put one here in the center to hopefully go to fire towards the poles, and probably one here to kind of drop shots onto the Russians. So let's deploy. Oh, one sec, guys. I got a phone call from home. Just a sec, everyone. And I'm back. It was a matter of walking boots because I'm recording this pretty quick on the heels of me coming back from my visit home. And obviously, uh, as is tradition, you've always got to forget something. So let's put a unit here, and probably a weak unit here, just in case they, the Russians come down this direction. So it's unfortunate we can't... Actually, I might put some militia up here. Oh, I can't deploy them up there. I might be able to deploy my Pandowers up here. Yes. So they, they won't be able to get down, but that's okay. I might put some Marines. Okay, let's start to actually place units down to cover respective positions. And let's put this unit of line in this building here. General's bodyguard is going to be there. So then we've got it's quite a nice block of infantry really. Just might put a unit in the house. So the crux of the matter is, it depends what happens. Oh, you're just too big. This weak unit, though, can get in there. So these guys are just going to hunker down. These guys are going to be fireable off, as will these guys be. 
until the true extent of the threat reveals itself. Play stakes. Because they are going to, they are going to, they just are going to knock. Okay, they're going to temporarily run outside. Drop quick climb. Fire it well off for now. Ooh, it looks like the Russians are actually coming in from this direction. So I absolutely am going to want to put a unit here to protect this section of wall. So they, they've put their squares down. Yeah, they are hitting this building in case I get that infantry unit out. Some fusiliers are ready. So I am anticipating these guys being breached. Or I may even have to do something like. Like this. Should fire was off. Yep, so they've breached here. So they have an avenue to get in. It's not really the Polish I'm bothered about. Actually, I might get one of these guys to stay dropping round shot on their artillery, which I think I'm going to make it this guy. This other guy can start dropping quick climb shot on whomever they like, which will probably start being these Russian units as they come in. It's halt fire. So the gen Russian general is going to be killed on the spikes before he can get to my lines. I just start to randomly, not to randomly attack, just to attack this open space. Oh, okay, no, you definitely need to hit that unit. These guys can start dropping quick climb onto the Russians. Who's this coming in here? It's a provincial cav unit. They've been knocked back. The Russians will, the Polish are going to go around the flank. They're going to be peppered by these chaps. See, if they swarmed in through here, they'd actually have a reasonable shot. Because this isn't a very good killing field. Curious as to what we hope to achieve. So I'm turning fire off and then back on because I want them to man the guns because they can shoot at this provincial cavalry unit. At least ideally. At least the militia up here, they are picking at the units as they march past. I mean this doesn't this is a bit funky what they're doing here. But they will they will get annihilated. Aha, grenadiers. Quick line if you please. To be honest, we've got to start quick climbing these guys as well. Because look at the. It's got a near miss on the Grenadiers. But these guys need to start quick climbing this Polish force because they're all perpendicular to my artillery units. And 
he should be suffering quite severely at the hands of my infantry. Unfortunately, these are marines that are here first. Good, let's destroy that infantry unit. It was full strength and now it's down to 11 men. Maybe aim for this unit. So even a short round would even well even a slight miss would kill most almost all of them but look at that so the regiment of horse has been routed this regiment of foot is charging but I'm not sure what they intend to charge with can I spin this infantry around round because they don't seem to want to push through this gap so they'll at least better get some fire by rank support into that breach. It's too bad these guys can't shoot because they're being point pointed away. Although he can. I suspect fire at will shenanigans are afoot. See, it looks like there's even an infantry unit sat there, but it's just all their corpses in formation. Destroyed a grid in a guard regiment. Going to do charging in. These guys should get shot upon a lot as they try and charge the... Yeah, as they try and charge into the armory. God, I need to replace this mouse. As they charge into the armory, they are going to take severe casualties. There we go, they've been broken. So who's back here? Some horse artillery, regiments of foot, some lion infantry. That's prime for my general to go out there and kill that three-pounder howitzer. Three-pounder foot artillery unit. See, the militia are actually doing reasonable work, although I suspect Quickline was partly to blame for this. But even at close range, they can still do good work. Oh, damn. I'll have blown a hole through those units. So the Grenadiers are routing. They'll probably come back because there's still two thirds of them left. So because there's less risk of a cavalry, well, there's less chance, not less chance, but there's less, they've not got much cavalry on the map, so I'm not so bothered about. Hey, some of their, some of the units may actually get all the way around. Fusiliers, so what? Come on, engage the units that are charging into your Fusilier brothers. And you guys, fire at will too! Being fired upon from multiple directions. Well, I doubt they're going to route. The Polish unit is going to creep all the way around. 
guard units are going to die as well. You keep dropping shells up toward the front. You guys keep dropping shells onto the poles. They're starting to clear my men off of the walls, but that's not as much of a problem. Kill this potion. So there will be a bit of a fratricide risk. Blast that. Blast the breach with the canister shot. 294 becomes a bit of a miss. Pull these guys off the wall. Some parent Polish SARS running in. Small militia advancing in. Lots of quick line, which should be just absolutely devastating to these clumps of troops. Nope, another garrison guard unit attempting to assault the armory, so they're the perfect bait for these marines, because they're good in combat. As you can see, they cannot help but try and take it back. Allowing my men to just... Okay, these guys need to be fired off, because they are shoot they are killing some of the men in the back ranks. This is what we need to do. Okay, some cavalry. Form square. Take them on. Let's put you guys up here as well. Well, you guys may as well go here. Fire. These guys are still engaging the regiment on foot outside the gates. Cavalry fall back. So right now there's just a bunch of militia and infantry guards. Everyone else is firing as rapidly as they can. 43rd has been routed. So they are starting to form up into form up here. Lots of cavalry, but aim at the horses. Form square, because they're about to charge in. You guys meet the charge. Okay, look at all these units on the field. The is, if they can't win the fight against my marines, they'll be shooting into the backs of the enemy positions. The cavalry's routed. Charge into the back of the the Russians. These are just conscripts. They aren't particularly good. everyone to reload as quickly as possible. Okay, now you can't shoot at them. 
starting to cause problems with destroying the wall. So I'm pretty sure they have no cavalry. They've got a general. Cavalry's routing, so let's get my general out to earn his keep. Let's get these guys up onto the section of the wall here. The 43rd Regiment of Foot wants to advance through the breach. Well, it's Marine here, the 9 Foot Guards. Well, right now it is just a slugfest inside the... inside the city, inside the wall. So we can hold fire at will, let my... Oh, my Marines are losing. Can't get involved, apparently. It's a round shot flies into the artillery. Looks like a good shot. Oh, short. Charge the Russian artillery. Forty third. They came back, but they're about to get annihilated. You're not ready for this modern form of warfare, Russia. Kill them all. Can we kill that last guy? No. Oh well. Come back to the smoking city. Get back in the dirt inside. These engineers are going to try and do something. Well, they want to try to charge me. It's going to go very badly wrong. starting to sally out. Not sally out, not just sending in troops to fight us. Why have you men not been preparing your guns while I've so upset not to fire at will? Charge the combat. Go stay where you were. So they seem to be. F well, they're stuck on the corner, but as they push out, we will just destroy them. Yeah, go on, men. Just oh no, that's going to kill loads of our guys instead. I was hoping we'd shoot back here, but. Units. Who's that? The Grenadier Regiment. That's a good neck. Come on, their infantry's all strung out. Do some cavalry shenanigans to knock out the guns back here. Okay, let's take these guys. Form a new battle line, fire it off. Because these guys may spend themselves in the combat. Marines are held on. I want to send another infantry in to secure to secure the position. 
put some other infantry in to secure the position. Hello, is a one on one battle of Garsman versus a 13 colonist. Oh no, he's had enough. You guys get back, you've done your part. And these guys are going to stay in as long as it takes to defeat the... Let's see, I had to set firewall on, just to make sure they get it. Okay, these marines and these other units, you guys... Abandon the armory. You fought for it valiantly. However, now is not the time to reinforce failure. You need to. Oh no! Riley, get the hell out of there! Let's get some of our. Quick climbing artillery just to start. God damn, that is a lot of bodies over there. But we're pushing them back. Well, at some point, it looks like they're temp. So the aim of the game is to try and get their guns to route before they catch up to us. What we, that's what I'd like to see most of all. So they've routed. Currently doing some close support. Quick climb onto them. Good. Okay, now run. Just flee. Get the hell out of dodge. Riley's done far too well defending Zagreb to lose him in a silly situation like this. So as he runs back and loops around, keeping him running. Okay, we'll just speed up time now, actually, because things aren't really happening. Trying to intercept. Oh, they got a volley off. Oh, that was. I did keep him running, but I think my last command must have been walking. Or I didn't set him to run between. to run between uh, waypoints. So right now, they're all determined to catch him, but they're not gonna. Go go gadget Riley. Okay. So it might be necessary now. Well actually it looks like they're all gonna come they're all gonna come sailing towards me. Not sailing. Okay. The last remnants of their troops are coming in. Are they are they gunners? Well they actually come back, some of them. Scallywags. Let's watch this in. It's fast forward time because these grenadiers are in good they're in good shape, but they broke before they made contact. Same with those troops, they've also gone. They're throwing everyone into the mix now. Because they've all been pushed back. Even these guys, there's only 40 men remaining. They've still done a decent job. To see what this 13th Regiment of Foot makes of our measures inside the walls. Pandars have got into a position again to shoot. Our units inside the walls are engaging. On a limited site though, they might... Oh, they're actually going to charge my guns. Fire at will from these guys up here. 
pour some fire into the 13th regiment. And here they are routing. 76 is providing some covering fire. Is that everyone? Provincial Cav. I mean, more or less. Enough that I can do this. Infantry's gone, cavalry's gone. Yes! Heroic victory for the 13 colonies. <laughs> well, hopefully, one of the final battles against in the Zagreb pocket. Yeah, we lost 1,200 men, which is a lot. We've got some very experienced units coming out of this defence. Lost 4,800. So we've got the most kills. The Marines did. The Marines that got destroyed in the armoury got the most kills. Oh, let's pick up time. There we go. So the Russians are also now our enemies, and they're going to push up. I mean, I'm going to auto that. Back you go. Here comes the Russian Navy. Well, they've gone to the port. Ooh, opportunity to intercept. Intercept a Athens. I think I'm going to do that, but looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the first battle outside the gates of Athens. Cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm.